uh, hi guys in this video it's a part two of the how to select the optocouplers okay we already saw in our part one of the video how the optocoupler works and uh, what are the applications some of the application circuit and we have walked through some of the data sheets uh, from the google we take it out some of the uh, optocoupler data sheets and walk through uh, them and then uh, in this video we are going to see each and every specification what are the things what are the parameters we have to consider it in detail further in detail okay and uh, yeah, thanks guys thanks for your response for the part one uh, and uh, if you like if this video helps you please click the like button okay and if you have any questions please uh, mention in comment section uh, i'll happy to ex explain it also okay so the very first thing is we are going to see here in selection point of view power loss specification so let us go through the same data sheets from the google whatever i opened in the part one so so this one of the optocoupler okay see if you are, uh, want to get familiar with the how optocoupler works and what are the things uh, we have discussed in uh, other details go through the part one of the video okay yeah here yeah in this video we are going to see power dissipation section right so we have to see we uh, and as well as we in our channel we already discussed how to calculate the power up to couple is nothing but the combination of once the primary side or input side a led or diode you can say it and the output side you have the photo transistor or the bjt right so how to calculate the power loss for the diode how to calculate power loss for the mosfet or power loss for the bjt we already have the videos uh, i'll make give the link in the comment section you can uh, go through it uh, in detail here we quickly get the summary only quickly uh, come to the conclusion only and maybe i can go here yeah this one of the example circuit i have taken it right uh, from the google also in the uh, part one so the emit the emitter side or uh, input side or primary side yeah five volt supply is there it's getting power to the led and uh, the secondary side uh, 18 volt uh, so, uh, so sources supplying uh, supplying the this resistor may be the relay resistor internal uh, resistance of the relay coil control coil you can say it it provides the uh, relay control circuit okay so <clears throat> your selection of optocoupler should be in such a way that it has to meet all the parameters right how we if we take this as a reference circuit how we have to choose optocoupler for this particular example application the same method you can do it for your uh, your your application your circuit okay so as we are saying that diode power loss is nothing but the uh, multiplication of forward voltage drop into uh, uh, forward current right vf into if that is the uh, yeah you can see it that di for diode this is for the vf into if is the power loss okay for bjt it's a vc collector to emitter saturation uh, voltage multiplication of ic so when the bjt is in on condition current that uh, ic current uh, uh, collector current current which current flows from the source to up to ground here multiplication of when the uh, bjt is on that time the voltage across the collector to emitter is called the vce sat so here this vf value of the diode and the vce sat of the diode of the transistor portion it will be mentioned in the optocoupler okay and uh, you in your application circuit this ic value will vary depends upon the resistance or the relay coil resistance or which are the resistance in series you are going to connect it so i have taken one more circuit also here yeah this one more circuit from microcontroller and, uh, it's getting uh, energized the uh, control coil of the relay okay so this is also one of the circuit this is a 4d 8 by 2 this also we will see it whether it's uh, meeting the requirements or not okay and uh, yeah if you see it uh, this application see you see it that uh, if it is microcontroller 3.3 volt is uh, coming 3.3 220 that is the current that is if right that multiplication of vf of the this value is the power loss this section okay and yeah maybe i can go through the data sheet and we can get it no more right i just open many data sheets uh, the same manner here if you go through the data sheets 
they will give the power dissipation maximum power dissipation and power dissipation for the input side as as well as the output side also see total power dissipation is 200 milliwatts that means this this device can here as you are saying right absolute maximum ratings that means absolutely the temperature range it's saying that it can operate from the minus 55 to 105 right and the storage it can be minus 55 to 150 it can be stored the same way here total power dissipation maximum it can dissipate up to 200 milliwatt okay so our calculated value in your application uh, whatever the act with actual parameters and multiplication of, uh, with this data sheet parameters it has to be within the not only within the with the safety margin also it has to be less than the 200 milliwatt and the, you say that uh, some uh, 70 percentage only some 30 percentage is the safety margin so that means up to 140 or 150 milliwatts only it has to come down then only this opto coupler is suitable for uh, the application okay so it doesn't mean that yeah, it doesn't matter 200 milliwatt means we have to reach up to 190 or 200 that will degrade the comp uh, part very soon Okay. so come to our uh, agenda of this video see here emitter side the power dissipation is saying that 70 milliwatts okay that is the absolute maximum rating absolute maximum it has to be within the 70 milliwatts only let us see how much uh, it is consuming if we are using this uh, uh, this opto coupler i have downloaded other opto couplers also let us see there also what is the uh, rating power rating here here also absolute maximum power rating here see input side they are saying emitter and the receiver right here input is uh, here 100 milliwatts here output is 150 milliwatts this question this is one more data sheet i downloaded here uh, input side this power dissipation there is. so every place input side output side uh, dissipation they have mentioned it and here one node fod 852 fod this is the exact uh, data sheet right so let us see this also whether it's meeting or not okay we'll take this only as an example here they are saying output power as well as in led power dissipation 70 milliwatts collector power dissipation 150 milliwatts okay okay we'll take this only as an example and this circuit only instead of this circuit uh, we have seen in detail the uh, part one of this video right so here this area we can take it so microcontroller usually output will be 3.3 volt okay so it's a 3.3 volt you take it 3 divided by 220 v by r i'm saying it that is it's a 15 milliamps current right if is nothing but the 15 milliamps i can say in this one if is nothing but the 15 milliamps right that 15 milliamps current is flowing via the diode okay if you put okay instead of this one uh, what is the vf for the uh, diode section we can see here continuous forward current it can go up to 50 milliamps it's saying that okay but what we are applying is is only uh, 15 milliamps that is it's within this range right okay then come to here electrical individual compound carriers vf for a voltage drop at 10 milliamps current it is saying that typically 1.2 volt okay and we are applying 15 milliamps it means it will be a little bit more than the 1.2 volt or 1.4 volt in between one point uh, this we can see in graph also this i explained in one of the diode power dissipation how we have to calculate diode loss we have explained detail so you may check that detail also uh, see here this characteristic this graph is showing here right is a vf versus if okay ours is 15 milliamps 10 is a 20 so you, you can say 15 milliamps at the room temperature it is 1.2 we can say it right it can it's coming here it's 1.1 to 1.2 okay so we can consider there 1.2 is a forward voltage drop okay and we calculated that 15 milliamps okay this is the one this is the loss for the primary set. let us calculate this also right Into that means 18 milliwatts is the loss okay guys this is the primary side or emitter side loss okay what is the data sheet saying here
absolute maximum ratings input side led powered especially with 70 milliwatts it can be up to 70 milliwatts okay we are not even 50 percent of the uh, dissipation also we are very less only so it is safe okay input side is very safe here okay then output side we are seeing going to output side so we have to see what is the ic value 12 volt is there and the resistor resistive coil we have to say some resistance value will be there and that is saying the ic value okay so here in this i just take it from the google so we don't know what's the exact resistance the if we know the uh, relay part number there there will be coil uh, internal resistance value that resistance value we have to uh, put it v by and uh, r if you uh, put it there also the ic value will get it okay or here there instead of current through ratio we have to consider it here in this case that is generic uh, 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 bjt calculation whereas here we have to consider the current through ratio what is the current transfer ratio sorry current transfer ratio is nothing but ic divided by uh, uh, this if okay that is uh, that is one of the parameters we discussed in uh, part one we see what is the current transfer ratio for this part current transfer ratio if you apply for vc is 2 volt at the if is 1 milliamp is it is so showing that it is the uh, thousand that means in percentage they will say thousand percentage okay so with this value we have to say it so it is a current through ratio here yeah, maybe you can explain this formula see here ic divided by if into 100 we know if that is 15 milliamps right we know current transfer ratio based on the part number we can take the uh, this part number is saying that typically is the 4000 okay 4000 is equal to ic divided by if into 100 4000 divided by 100 if you put it uh, that means uh, 440 will come right 40 into 0.15 you got i think you got the values right so current transfer ratio is nothing but the ic divided by if into 100 okay so uh, if you put it the ic value if from here if you calculate the ic value current transfer ratio into if right that is nothing but the 40 into point 0 0.015 that is the ic value right okay instead of uh, make it a short this video we know the ic once we come to know this ic value go for the vc saturated yeah vc is sat we are given here right it's at max to 1.2 volt only will be there okay come to know what is the secondary side power dissipation that has to be less than the uh, the specified value that means the specified value they'll mention it here it's 150 milliwatt it has to be well below the 150 milliwatts then our power of dissipation uh, rating is uh, is met by the uh, this particular part we can use this part that is the value here also the same way here how we can calculate means we know the internal resistance of the relay right so v by r we can put it that is the ic value we can say it right this is the ic value required value because this is our the system level or board level requirement the first day six day we have to nhs this particular relay and we want the isolation also from the microcontroller that's why optocoupler into the come to the picture okay microcontroller will be uh, 3.3 volt uh, line here the ground is different here 5 volt ground they are saying it so it comes into 5 volt okay so my this uh, control section and this power section they want isolated that's why optocoupler come into picture and they will say i want to energize the so and so relay which has the internal resistance so they'll give the internal resistance also so this ic value also we come to know that and by implement uh, substituting this values into the formula we can calculate the power this overall optocoupler power dissipation by uh, some uh, by adding the uh, input side and output side power dissipation okay so that way we can we got the power loss dissipation these are 50 percent yeah that's all guys i think this uh, video will be helpful for uh, to
know more about the optocoupler section point of view the only pending thing is current transfer ratio that also with examples i'll explain it later thanks guys take care bye now